What's up beautiful people? I was standing here for literally like 10-15 minutes thinking how am I going to start this video? It's such a like, it's a weird topic like what am I going to say to these people? Like how are they even going to react to a dildo in their face? Do they even know lesbians use dildos? Is it like a gay thing? Like I don't get it. So let me just start the video in it. Firstly, yeah. This is my friend. He's black and he's long and he's beautiful. I got a black one because obviously I'm black and I was like, I don't want a white cock going in anyone, let alone me. So I got a black one. I use it for myself and for my dearest, dearest. Not anyone else because otherwise it's just contamination. They're just nasty and that's just a lot of like juices going and passing through in people. And that's just not, that's not healthy, you know. It's not hygiene, it's not clean, it's not, it's not nice. Clean your dildo, wash your anal beads, told you last video, cool. I came to the conclusion that uh, different types of lesbians like dildos if you know anything about lesbians yeah you would know that there's studs stem femmes so you got the studs who are more masculine and you got the stems or the in-betweeners and you got the femmes who are more feminine i like to call myself yeah a stem because i'm not too masculine not too feminine i'm a bit me i'm not like oh my gosh hair weave nails i love that i'm not like yo you're right yeah man them like yeah gunshots and all that because like yeah cool i don't even know who i am i'm a man i'm a woman i don't really know I am not even trying to throw shade, you know, but recently, like, it's hard to catch a good start because you're not trying to be a girl no more. Like, I'm gay who like girls. Like, you're not trying to be a man them. Either you're transitioning, I don't know what's going on, but let us know because the community is a bit confused. Like, hella confused. Hella. Moving forward, yeah, anyway, no shade, no shade, no shade. These stars like to walk around with their dildos on them, yeah? They like walk around with their dildos on them. So I feel like these stars crave the dildo. Not necessarily in them. I don't know why I went for my mouth. That was not on purpose. That wasn't even like subconscious me telling me, like, I don't even know what it, Let's just move on real quick. You will go to a club and this will be on, okay, not literally here, but let me just get this sorted, okay, one second, let's just, let's just, okay. They will walk around with these things like this, yeah? And then when they're ready to fuck, it will literally just rise to bum like, is it your dick? I don't remember this being yours, like, bitch, it detaches. It ain't yours. Remember that, yeah? Because you're trying to use this too often. Like, I don't know if it's an ego thing, that like they need the penis on them to make them feel more masculine. I don't know if it's like a transitioning thing. I don't know what's going on with their stud minds. However, let me get one thing correct. We are gay. Lesbians. Definition. We like women, yeah? So come correct with your vagina and your breasticles. Your breasticles. Because we want to touch it, lick it, suck it, you know. Just grind on your punani. And if you're not giving us that, then, then lovely, you're not... <laughs> You're not for me. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You gotta find a straight girl who's into that kind of stuff. Cause it's not every day just, you know what I mean? Just like, that's all you, like jackrabbit. Like I can't, I can't take it. Do you know what I mean? I, I can't. Luckily, my dearest dearest ain't into that kind of stuff. So we take it slow. Do you know what I mean? Me, so wine pon me. We take it slow, pon pon knees. Rubbing to get, okay, let me just stop. Cause I'm telling too much of my business. I can't really calm down, you know, cause you don't know too much about me. And um, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. I don't know if it's because I'm open or because like I can't keep my mouth shut. I don't know which one it is. I, let me know because I think I'm doing too much. I do way too much in it, like way too much. I think I have a slight ego problem when it comes to the dildo, yeah. So like studs, I like to use it from time to time, but not too much, do you know what I mean? Like not too heavy, everyday dildo, do you know what I mean? Like I gotta keep it back because I'm good with my mouth, my fingers, my panani. Yes, I'm good with my fingers. I know I have long nails, but I still use it. Ain't about your fingers, baby. It's not about them being short and stumpy. It's about how you use them. You've got to be precise. But the panani's very really delicate, yeah. Men and females need to understand this. You can't just be shoving it in there. You've got to make sure their juices are just flowing. I mean they want it, they're ready. There's a there's a certain scent that the pom pom gives off and it says I'm ready. If you don't know about that scent, then you're not a good you don't you, you can't have sex properly. Man's a virgin out here, mate. Go away like your girls your girls are upset with you, cuz. They're upset with you. Let me tell you this quick story. The other day, yeah, I don't even know if I should be saying this out loud. I don't want it to manifest or be real, do you know what I mean? So should I say out? Let me say out loud. Let me just tell you the story. So, I was having the good good with my girl, yeah. I'm like, we were just going, poof, like, giving it some, mm, like, ooh, what? Like, wow. Do you know what I mean? Like, wow. What, what, woo. Do you know what I mean? One of the moments where the whole neighbourhood hears. The whole neighbourhood. All my doors are open. Let everyone know I'm having a good sex. <laughs> good fuck. Rah. Rah. I'm a lot, you know. Flip there now. So, we, we, we. Recently, yeah, so it's a new thing. We don't really use it. I was like, this she never used it before. Let me just get it down. Like, let me see what's going with the thing. And it vibrates as well, so you know, bonus. 
got a little vibration going on. As you know, I've had sex with men before and I, I kind of enjoyed it. It wasn't really a moment when I was like craving it, but when it was in, it was calm. When it was done, I was like, get out! I know my truth. I love women. They don't make me feel sick. I feel good. Like I can eat after I eat before. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's one of the moments I don't want to get into. It. If you want to know about that, then ask me and I'll do a little video about it, but not right now. Cool. So, we bought this share yeah, thinking, like, oh, she's never used it. Let's try something new. Like, our sex life isn't really great. We don't really need anything to add on, but you know what? Let's just get it. Like, it's part of the fun. Cool. Not cool. So, we used it the first time. Yeah, she like tipping. Do you know what I mean? The tip, the tip was going in because obviously she's not used to it. So I was tipping it. So I said, I might as well use my fingers. But she said, let me try, let me try. So, you know, as the days went on, weeks went on, it got a little further, a little further. That's when it all went wrong. She started asking for it. Do you know what I mean? Like, oh, can you get it out? Can you strap it? I'm not taking this to heart, am I? I mean, like, does she like it more than me? Like, am I not good for her anymore? Like, I thought I was just making her come without this, this evil thing that's just... I am tired of the dildo, do you know what I mean? I don't want to use it no more. I thought I was enough and then all of a sudden there's a black bitch comes into our life and you think that, do you know what? Firstly, bitch, okay, I didn't say it to her, but obviously, because you lot, you lot are brethren here, this is what I would have said to her. <clears throat> Firstly, bitch, you don't come into my yard asking for something. Yeah, firstly, we purchased it together because obviously she's my girl, but you don't come into my yard and beg for the dick. We are lesbians out here, bitch. Do you know what I mean? If you want to be using the dick, then we're around to man them. Because I ain't using that shit no more. Do you understand? So that's what I would have said, but obviously I said, rah, like, okay. Do you know what I mean? Like, I gave her what she wanted because she's my god, I love her. But recently, I've been thinking about ego trips. And I was like, raw, when I was with a girl ages ago, back in the day, yeah, when I was like free and single, yeah, I had this girl, right? And she used to say to me, Why are you always craving the dick for? And I was like, raw, why are you throwing shade for? Dickhead. But she was like really on my case about me using the dildo. And it wasn't like I was using it all the time. But when I wanted it, I wanted it. Like, it's one, it one of those things that you're just like, oh, I want. Like, put something in me, anything, a phone book. Do you know what I mean? Like, just shove needles up. No, not needles. I'm going too far. Can I relax? She used to get really angry about it. And I was like, why are you getting angry? I thought she was just upset because obviously I used to, like, I was a bisexual coffee user. I didn't want to be out. I was like denying my gayness. And those times I was on the dick, but it wasn't like I was just like, like, Ugh, hot dick. Like these girls, these straight girls talking about hot dick, hot pipe, and all that kind of shit. Firstly, why do you want it hot? Doesn't that burn your panani? I don't get that. How hot does it get? How hot is your sex? Like, what are you doing? Ugh. And then I realised it's not about the hot pipe. It's not about the fact that she wants a dildo in her. I have the problem, not her. I just, I don't want to feel like the dildo is beating my game, like my sex game's on point. Then I realised I'm the one using it on her. My sex game is still on point, do you know what I mean? Like, brrr, I am the one completing her sexual needs. I give her the orgasm she requires. I make her go, oh my god. Do you know what I mean? I'm the one who the neighbours talk about, not the dildo, me! So burn the dildo in it, because man don't need it. Or if she wants it. But it's not like it's required. I can go on and on about this. I think I should do another video about this, because i got a lot to say. If you enjoyed this video and I hear more, because I cut it a bit short, yeah? Subscribe, like, share, comment, and tell me that you liked it. If you didn't, I'm sorry. It was a bit, like, in your face. But then again, it's a dildo. How can it not be not in your face? Do you know what I mean? Like, it's a lot. It's a big black rubber dick. <laughs> but you fuck with.